if anyone's wondering why I'm talking like this, it's because it's very late at night and my sister is asleep in the other room. I'm trying not to wake her up, so I'm very sorry if this sounds like an ASMR video. Death on the Nile was directed by Kenneth Branagh and stars a handful of people including one of the leads which shows that this film was definitely supposed to come out in 2019. It is a sequel to the 2017 film Murder on the Orient Express, which is an adaptation of the Agatha Christie novel, which this is also an adaptation of. Definitely hard to not compare the two of these films. For one thing, I definitely think that Death on the Nile is a much more beautifully shot movie. There's a lot of gorgeously composed shots in this film. But I think the pacing in Murder on the Orient Express was a lot better. I'm not sure how much this film follows the book, but the titular Death on the Nile does not happen until the midpoint of the film, which just left a viewer like me sitting there and just, and just being like, okay, so when is someone gonna die? Is anyone gonna actually die? I found myself getting bored very quickly in the first half of this movie. Also, the first third of this movie has some of the most jarring editing I have seen in a while. There's, I, I can't explain it, but there are just some sequences in this movie that just felt off, and it was because of the editing. It was either too choppy, too quick, or it just lingered in one shot for much too long to the point where it was almost uncomfortable. However, once the actual death on the Nile occurs in this movie, that's when it starts to get interesting, which, again, kind of sucks because it's halfway through the movie already. And I was very intrigued and really enjoying solving the mystery. I won't give away who actually did it. And I'm not going to knock the movie for having the culprit be predictable because of course this is based on a book. But I definitely think the breakdown and the, the Scooby-Doo unmasking, so to speak, at the end of this movie just happened a little bit too quick. Which is in great contrast because it feels like this movie takes forever to get started. I swear, it begins, I think, three times. It sounds like I'm f***ing on this movie, but... Honestly, these were my only gripes. It was, again, a very well shot, well acted film. Even Gal Gadot, who her performances tend to be a hit or miss for me. And that's why I'm giving Death on the Nile a... Mm -hmm. 6.5 out of 10? 6.5 out of 10, that seems like a fair score. I'm giving a lot of things pretty average scores lately. I'm just seeing a lot of very average crap. Nothing has yet to really blow me away or really disappoint me, but you know, Uncharted's coming out this week, so there's always room for one of those things to happen. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!